One of the things I find enjoyable about Magic the Gathering is being able to cast really expensive cards and then seeing the entire board state change or even the game. But what if you could do this for free? Welcome to my Kali of the Vast deck tech. Now, unlike a lot of my other decks, Kali is not particularly combo heavy because most of the damage or win cons are done through combat damage or some variation thereof. However, there are some combos that drastically change the board state. Now, the first combo that we have is Avacyn Angel of Hope, Armageddon, and Wrath of God. How this works is once Avacyn enters the battlefield, she gives all your permanents indestructible, which makes them immune to any destroy, target, whatever abilities. Once all your permanents have indestructible, you can then cast Armageddon, which destroys all lands, and the Wrath of God, which destroys all creatures. Ideally, this gets rid of all your opponent's lands and creatures. This leaves you open to just hit your opponents relatively freely, and most people will concede at this point. Now, while making this video, I did accidentally stumble onto another combo, which wasn't intended. Basically, how it works is you cast Tefiri's Protection, which causes all your permanents to phase out, which means they're treated as though they don't exist. And you also cast Farewell, which exiles all graveyards, enchantments, artifacts, and creatures, which also basically board wipes everyone. Now, that doesn't get rid of your lands, but since all your stuff is phased out, you can also cast Armageddon, although you are gonna make a lot of enemies if you do that, but I cannot imagine that anyone not conceding at that point. Now, the last combo we're gonna talk about is a Chroma Vision of Exodor and a Chroma's Memorial. Now, my fiance has a variation of this deck, which I will be talking about in a later deck tech, so make sure to subscribe. However, the basic general gist is once you cast a Chroma's Memorial, it gives all your creatures all these keywords. Then, once a Chroma Vision of Ixidor comes out, it gives all your creatures plus one plus one for each of the keywords listed on a Chroma. This can be extremely powerful because if you have a bunch of 3-3 three, three angels, they all become 10-10s. Ten, Just beefing things up like that, that quickly, can be extremely dangerous for your opponents. It's great for you, but... With that being said, let's move into some of the notable cards. Now, as you might expect, there are a lot of angels, demons, and dragons in this deck, and we're not going to go through all of them because all of them are powerful, all of them are great but there's also a deck list in the description, so you can check that out if you want. But here are some of the highlights. First up, we have Platinum Angel, which flat out states that you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. For obvious reasons, that's really helpful. Next up, we have Aurelia the War Leader, which has additional combat phases, which with Kalia means double triggers. There is also Terror of the Peaks, which capitalizes on large creatures entering the battlefield. Um, this helps deal damage to your opponents directly, so you don't have to rely just on combat damage in case if you have any, like, protection from creatures or what have you effects. And last but not least, we have Varagoth Plus Guy Sire, which is a perpetual tutor so you can keep your hand stocked with all the good angels or any emergency cards, such as Farewell, if something does happen. Now, if you've seen any of my other previous deck texts, you know I like to keep a collection of tutors, but there's also a lot of card draw in here because you want to keep your hand full, so whenever Kalia does attack, you can go ahead and put down your creatures whenever you get them. And last but not least, there are a couple alternate win cons. I didn't put these in the combos because they're only one card, but you have Liliana's Contract. Getting four demons out with different names is fairly easy for this deck. And Approach of the Second Sun, I think I'm actually gonna get rid of this one. But in case if you have a game that's going on really, really long and you can't get a hold of any other things or you keep getting Kali countered, um, it's great to have just as like a backup plan in case if the game's going on for like three hours. But now with that being said, there is a lot of stuff that we didn't cover. So if you do want to check out the deck list, this deck is still under construction. So if you have any upgrade suggestions, do let me know. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching and we'll learn something new in the next video.